have been reserved for the king's pleasure. Therefore, the king's portion is reserved for you. A prepared position awaits you with the king of kings sitting at the head of the table. He desires that you sup with him in the presence of your enemies. By accepting his personal invitation, your needs are met, the desires of your heart fulfilled, and to top it off, you will receive the exceeding abundance above all you can ask for or even think of. Imagine that. The more you understand the king's heart, without a shadow of a doubt, you will begin to make more room for heaven's treasures. Welcome to King's Portion. This is Catherine Dre Foster. The theme of our program today is Your Heart's Chief Informant. We're going to talk about your constant verbal expressions. Now we're going to look in Jeremiah, the 15th chapter, the 19th through the 21st verses. And it reads, Therefore thus saith the Lord, If thou return, then will I bring thee again, and thou shalt stand before me. And if thou wilt take the precious from the vow, thou shalt be as my mouth. Let them return unto thee, but return not thou unto them. And I will make thee unto this people a fenced brazen wall, and they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee to save thee, and to deliver thee, saith the Lord. And I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked, and I will redeem thee out of the hand of of the terrible. So this is the promise that God was making. And what he's saying is that you're going to be my mouthpiece. You're going to speak as me for me. So what we're looking at is make God's desire to be his mouthpiece so irresistible that your change is immediate. I'll be right back after this message from our sponsor. Plan to stay tuned for the entire program today. We invite you to visit our new interactive website. Please log on to www.kingsportionlive.org. That's www.kingsportionlive.org. We believe that you will discover something that will speak to the royal blood in you. Welcome back to King's Portion. Again, the theme of our program today is Your Heart's Chief Informant. We're talking about your mouth. Now we want to make God's desire to be his mouthpiece so irresistible that our change is immediate. We said that there was a promise of God that was spoken in Jeremiah that we just read. Now we're going to talk about following God's pattern of speech. Looking in Hebrews the 11th chapter, the first through the third verses in the Amplified Version it reads, Now faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for, being the proof of things we do not see, and the conviction of their reality, faith perceiving as real fact what is not revealed to the senses. For by faith, trust, and a holy fervor born of of faith, the men of old had divine testimony born to them and obtained a good report. By faith, we understand that the worlds during the successive ages were framed, fashioned, put in order, and equipped for their intended purposes by the word of God so that what we see was not made of the things which are invisible. Now that word framed from the Strong's Concordance means to complete thoroughly until it is finished, to repair until it is overhauled, to fit until it is acceptable, to frame until it is built, to mend until it recovers, to join together until it is connected, to prepare until it is ready, to restore until there is nothing lost beyond measure to the utmost till it is perfect and complete. So the word that we receive from God is the rhema word for that particular item. And that is what you verbalize because then that helps you to speak as God would speak to that thing in the earth to give you the deliverance that he sees from heaven's point of view. So that it says, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth 
as it is in heaven because you are speaking what God would speak. So that means you would be following God's pattern of speech. Today on our program, you're going to enjoy the music of Monique Faith Worship and the Prophetic Praise and Worship Ministry as they show you how to entreat God's favor by having the right perspective. And how do you know that? You're singing the right words. You have the same pattern of speech that God has. It is his rhema word for that situation. So let's hear them as they sing the march. Oh, oh. 
us on the web at blog.kingsportionlive.com. That's blog.kingsportionlive.com. Welcome back to King's Portion, where the theme of our program today is your heart's chief informant. So we're talking about the mouth. We want to make God's desire to be his mouthpiece so irresistible that our change is immediate. In Job, the sixth chapter, the 24th and the 25th verses read, teach me and I will hold my tongue and cause me to understand wherein I have erred. How forcible are right words. And that word forcible means overpowering. To what you say and the last thing you say and what you continue to say is what you're going to get. Let's look at what David said, that his words were so valuable that he called them my glory. In Psalm, the 30th division, beginning with the 10th verse through the 12th verses, it reads, Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. Lord, be thou my helper. Thou have turned for me my mourning into dancing. Thou have put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness to the end that my glory may sing praise to thee and not be silent. O Lord, my God. I will give thanks unto thee forever. And in one of my reference Bible, it shows that that word glory is his tongue. What that means is that we need to be able to elevate our words, that they are the power behind everything that we receive. So that means that's going to help us to maintain the integrity of our speech, just like David did. And the last verse we want to read is from Job, the 28th chapter and the 26th and the 27th verses from the complete Jewish Bible. It says, when he made a law for the rain and cleared a path for the thunderbolts, then he saw wisdom and declared it. Yes, he set it up and searched it out. We're showing that here is God making the rain for the earth and just how he did it. He decreed and declared his own wisdom. And that is how we are going to receive the results that God wants us to receive is by decreeing and declaring the wisdom of God. And don't deviate from that. I'll be right back after this message from our sponsor. been listening to King's Portion Live with web host Catherine Joy Foster. Thanks for staying tuned to King's Portion today where the theme of our program is your heart's chief informant, which is your mouth. Now we want to make God's desire to be his mouthpiece so irresistible that our change is immediate. The next point we like to make is that Faith talk will have no language barriers. In Hebrews, the fifth chapter, the 12th through the 14th verses from the Amplified Version reads, For even though by this time you ought to be teaching others, you actually need someone to teach you over again the first principles of God's word. You have come to need milk, not solid food. For everyone who continues to feed on milk is obviously inexperienced and unskillful in the doctrine of righteousness, of conformity to the divine will in purpose, thought and action. For he is a mere infant, not able to talk yet. But solid food is for full-grown men, for those whose senses and mental faculties are trained by practice to discriminate and distinguish between what is morally good and noble and what is evil and contrary either to divine or human law. So we're saying that how do you grow up? How do you mature? 
is learning how to talk. I want to ask you this question. Now, what are you seeing that you won't change what you're saying? In Proverbs, the 15th chapter and the fourth verse reads, A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a breach in the spirit. Now, that word perverseness in the Strong's Concordance said that these are words that are self-defeating, cranky, and it shows that you are stubbornly unreasonable. And if you continue to have verbal expressions down that lane, then it's going to be impossible for the Holy Spirit to lead you and to guide you into all truth. So what we need to do is set a perspective that we will only say what God is saying. And one thing to help us to do that as we move along is to be able to break the power of perverted words you might say or others might say to you immediately. And what you do then is that it can't twist you to go on the wrong way. It can't overthrow you from the foundation. It can't corrupt your your path that God has for you. So there is a level of freedom that God wants you to have. So you can go from faith to faith, from glory to glory. And it is because of the continuity of your words in your mouth that is showcasing what your heart is all about. And we need to be transparent in our heart so that we we hear what's coming out of our mouth that does not agree with God's word, that we will not give the devil place in our life by anything that we would say contrary. We would cut and down those words immediately and replace them with what the good and perfect and acceptable will of God is. The rhema word that comes expressly from God for that particular situation. There is freedom and Jesus wants you to be fully free. Let's listen to Monique Faith Worship and the Prophetic Praise and Worship Ministry as they sing Freedom. Freedom, freedom, tell me all.
Staying tuned to our program today, which bears the theme, your heart's chief informant, which is your mouth. You want to make God's desire to be his mouthpiece so irresistible that your change is immediate. Let's make this point. The creation of the fruit of your lips will bring God glory in the earth. Let's look at how the fruit of our lips are created. In Proverbs, the 18th chapter, the 20th and the 21st verses reads, A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth, and with increase of his lips shall he be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit of it. In other words, whatever desire you have for good or evil, that is what you're going to be satisfied with. In Hebrews, the 13th chapter and the 15th verse says, through him, which is Jesus Christ, therefore let us constantly and all times offer up to God a sacrifice of praise, which is the fruit of lips, which thankfully acknowledge and confess and glorify his name. That is saying, that is the best that we can give, even if you're facing the worst of times. And then the last verse we're going to read is from Isaiah, the 57th chapter, and the 18th through the 20th verses. And it says, I have seen his ways and will heal him. I will lead him also and restore comforts unto him and to his mourners. I create the fruit of the lips, peace. Peace to him that is far off. And to him that is near, saith the Lord, I will heal him. But the wicked are like the troubled sea, which it cannot rest, whose waters cast up mire and dirt. So what he said, the realm of what he's in is to give us peace. And that's what he creates. That is under the umbrella of the kingdom of God. Now, on the other hand, if the fruit of your lips is death, he doesn't create death. Satan does. So that means that you want to make sure that you are not operating under the power of Satan at all times. And the first thing you want to be able to do is give your heart to Jesus Christ. And then out of your mouth, you will express his good, acceptable, and perfect will for you. And that will be the first decision you want to make regarding life and death. You can choose life and choose it because Jesus is, wants to give it to you in abundance to your full and to you overflow. Why don't you say this prayer with me? Dear Heavenly Father, acknowledge that I'm a sinner. Please come into my heart. Forgive me of every sin. I am accept Jesus' blood as my deliverance. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are new. And I receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. And now I'm the newest believer in the body of Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, if you said that prayer, please email us at info at kingsportionlive.com. That's info at kingsportionlive.com and we will give you some encouragement along the way. Now let's return to the remaining portions of King's Portion Web Radio Show after this message from my sponsor. The Catherine Joy Foster Music Ministries is a 21st century multimedia marketplace ministry. In your discovery, you will find the power of God present to go where you are to take you where Jesus is. 
raising you up, repairing you, restoring you so that you can be as Jesus is in this world. Now available for workshops, banquets, conferences, webinars, concerts, prayer meetings. You can call area code 216-486-8615, extension 1. Again, that's area code 216-486-8615, extension 1. Proud to be an advertiser for King's Portion Web Radio. Thanks for staying tuned for the conclusion of our program today, which bears the theme, Your Heart's Chief Informant. We've been talking about the mouth. It says, now, if we can make God's desire to be his mouthpiece so irresistible that our change is immediate, then we will see what he says, just as he saw what he said in the earth. We want to look at this last point that God caters heaven's satisfactions. In Psalm 103, the fifth verse from the Amplified Version says, this is God who satisfies your mouth, your necessity and desire at your personal age and situation with good so that your mouth renewed is like the eagle's strong, overcoming, soaring. Now let's look at one more verse to show God's commitment. In Isaiah, the 51st chapter, the 16th verse reads, And I have put my words in thy mouth, and I have covered thee in the shadow of mine hand, that I may plant the heavens and lay the foundations of the earth, and say unto Zion, Thou art my people. So God's saying, I am making a commitment to you that you would have good success, that you will prosper, that you will be well, that you understand that I want things to be well, to go well, for you to play well, so you can stay well in the earth, in every area of your life. This is what I believe that God would say to you this very day. So the only thing that I am exporting in the earth is what I would be satisfied to have in heaven. So why don't you give God place, all the space that he needs in your heart, out of the abundance of your mouth, you will see the very heart of God's desire in your life. This is Catherine Joy Foster for King's Portion, where we speak to the royal blood in you. You have been listening to the King's Portion with radio host Catherine Joy Foster. Today's podcast is available for download. Log on to blog.kingsportionlive.com or email info at kingsportionlive.com.